In this video, we're going to be picking up objects and dropping them. So we're going to look at something and click and grab it, and it'll be in front of us, and then we'll put it down. So in Assets, you should have a folder Scripts. If not, right-click Create Folder Scripts. Go in that. And just anywhere, right-click Create C Sharp Script. Call it Grab and Drop, and open that up. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make a function that gives us the object we're looking at. So it'll give us a game object. It's going to call get mouse hover object. So we're going to need to do a line cast and this is how it's going to work. Um, say the position of our i is here at 3 comma 2. x is 3 and y is 2. And there's a z but I'm just doing it 2D. This is 0, 0. Um, and this is the how far away we want to check if we're going to hit something. So we're going to have our spot here, and I'm going to want to get the direction that we're looking at right here, which is actually going to be the camera, but it's going to be, say we're looking straight ahead, then maybe that camera vector is going to be 1, 0, so it's going to be a short little vector that's that way. So we're going to take that direction, but we're going to multiply it by, say, 5 for the range. So when we add 3, 2, we're going to add plus 1, 0 times 5. And 1, 0 times 5 is 5, 0. And that equals this. So our start position is where we are, where our, that's where we are. We need to store the information somewhere of that line cast or ray cast. And the target is going to be our position plus, so we're going to take, as, as I said, the camera, the main camera, it's forward is, is the direction that we're looking, that's the 1 comma 0, and then times range. Whoops. Okay, well, up here I'm going to also take float range so that we get a number for that range. It's going to be it's going to be 5 later. So times 5. So we're ready to do the line cast if physics.line cast. So we're going to do position and then target, and then we're going to put the information into raycast hit, and we're going, that's, that's actually good. So if there is a collision, then we can use raycast hit, or the collider, whatever it hits, we're going to return the game object of what we hit. If there's no collision, then that's the only way it can get down here. The code will get down there. We'll just give null. We'll give nothing. So to test this in update, I'm going to say debug log get mouse hover object range 5. That's what the 5 is. So it's going to print a lot. And we'll see what that looks like. We'll save. We'll go to player. Add the component. Grab and drop. Press play. And now when we look at things, maybe in the bottom left you can see it's terrain, it's king, it's bishop. So that's all showing up in console right there, terrain, king. That's good, it's, so it's working. So we can get rid of this, it's working. So at the top we're going to keep, we actually don't need start. We're going to keep track of grabbed object. We're also going to keep track of, of the, the size, roughly, grabbed object size. So when we grab a huge object, it'll float farther in front of us. So now we need two functions to grab and drop. Try grab object. Grab object. First, we just got to check that it's actually a thing. Whoops. If it's nothing, then we just can't grab it. Otherwise, grabbed object is grab object. 
and the object size is going to be our grab object. You, so a renderer, you can take its bounds, its size, and its magnitude. So say here's a pawn. This is going to be its x size. This is going to be its z size, well, its y size, because this is just 2D. So we might get from its bounds something like this. That will be the size, the render size. We're getting the magnitude. So that's just the length of this right here. It's the length if it were to make a box. That's the magnitude. The other function we need is drop object. So if it's null, do nothing. Otherwise, the grab object is null. And, you know, this will be, we'll add more to this later. Oh, grab object. There we go. So now we just need to check if we're clicking. Get key, get mouse button down. So if we're right clicking, this will happen. If the grabbed object is null, so if we have no object, then we're going to try to grab the, the hover object range 5. If we do have a, a grabbed object, then we're going to drop the object. And finally, if grabbed object is not null, so we do, we have grabbed an object, we need to put it in front of us. The new position is going to be where we are plus our camera forward by the size of that um, magnitude, the grabbed object size. So a big object will float from the camera farther away. Game object transform position plus camera dot main transform forward times game er, grabbed object size. Okay, so there's our new position. Grabbed object position is that new position. And maybe that'll work. Save it. Mm, go up here and grab it. Yep. Oh, there you go. So that's working. Um, you can smack, you know, objects around. There's still a couple things here, though. I don't mind that it's spinning, but when I right-click, it flies away in a crazy direction. Because as it's, it's collecting velocity, and when I let go, it's just going to boom. So that's where drop object, we can do stuff here. If the grabbed object has a rigid body, it, so if it's not null when we get this rigid body, then its velocity is equal to zero, vector three zero. Also, I can grab stuff I shouldn't be able to grab, like a rock, like this rock. Um, I can actually grab the terrain as well, and it just, the whole world freaks out. So we do want to check that too. You can do bool can grab, and we're going to give it a game object. So it's like asking, can we grab this thing? I'm going to say, if it has a rigid body, then it's good. We can grab it if this is not null. So if we find a rigid body, then return true. And then over here, try grab object. We'll just add or not can grab. So now I can't grab inappropriate things. And we've just got to give it this guy right here. So there you go, now you can grab objects and float, throw them around and stuff. Yeah!